I'm gonna be annoyed by the fact that Peloton has some riders back in the studio, but honestly, I was kind of feeding off of their energy. I was kind of like, uh, you know, people were in the studio getting shout outs every time a song played. Everyone in the audience went, woo! And I was like, you know what? It's kind of, I'm not gonna deny these people what they're enjoying. But I will say the other reason that I like that they're doing classes in studio for some of the classes now is because when the instructor calls out like, hey, for the next 30 seconds, you're going to be on cadence 100 to 120. I look at the speed of my legs and then I look at the speed of the legs of the people that are in the studio and I'm like, you cheaters, you're not you're not going 100 to 120 right now. You're probably going like 87. Come on, you, it's, you've been waiting your whole life to take a Leanne Hainsby 30-minute uh, pop ride in person and then you're half-assing it? It's embarrassing. You get any high fives? I mean, I get like a couple of high fives every run. I, I never am the first to send a high five, but I always reciprocate them, except I do get a lot of high fives from people... Like, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but every online uh, platform, whether it's social media or not, is now just US politics 24 seven. So like, at least once a week, I get a high five from someone whose name is something like, um, let's go Brandon, thanks for the gas prices, Joe Biden, uh, stuff like that. And then I gotta be like, I'm not gonna high five that man. I'm just trying to go for a damn bike ride. I don't even live in America. But like you've made your whole like online presence uh, on like it's just it's a stationary bike. Why is why have you it should be your leisure time, but instead you're like I am a I mean, especially to me, I'm a member of I'm a Bidenist. I'm a member of Joe Biden's uh, secret service. It's just insulting to me. Recycled bit? It's not it's not a bit. This is real life. This ain't SeaWorld. This is as real as it gets. I'm on a boat, mother effer. Don't you ever forget. I don't care for it. I really want red stew, man. I don't care for it. I it's even worse. Why look at this shit! Did you did you read the item description? Makes the screen slightly darker. Why? Why? For what purpose? I get it, like it's cause it's glaucoma, but still. No secret room? So is not OP. You listening to yourself? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Five percent chance, like me versus a polar bear? Anyway, what was I talking about? I don't remember. I don't I don't have like a Peloton instructor tier list. Here's what I'm going to say though. Go to rotation, goaded blunt rotation. Sam Yo, Ben Aldis, Dennis Morton. Emma Lovewell. That's that's my blunt rotation on the Peloton. They've all got their pluses and minuses. Emma Love very well. Emma Love well by name. Emma Love very well by reputation. That's an Austin Powers quote. I'm not being weird. What about Matt Wilpers? I took one ride with Matt Wilpers. I very much enjoyed the ride, but all of his other rides are power zone. So in order to, I gotta change up my whole style. 50 said, go on, switch your style up. And if you hate, then let him hate and watch the money pile up. So I can't, uh, I, I can't do any more Matty Wilpers rides until I start doing Power Zone. Do Power Zone? I'm kind of like in the vi I'm vibing though. I'm kind of like... Here's my problem with the internet, okay? Every time you are doing something that works for you, people don't say, hey, great job, keep it up. They always say, hey, now that you got something that works for you and you're in a routine, you should just try something new. I don't want to try something new. I want to do the thing that I've already been doing that I find able to, I'm able to do consistently. 
I don't need the mixer. Get out of here! I got a good thing going on right now. I'm sure Power Zone, uh, you know, has got his positives for sure. The big negative for me is I don't want to take like a 20 minute test that makes me feel like I'm going to die just to gain access to the classes. Okay, I'm not playing very well right now. Novelty is a big deal for some people. Okay, not for me though. I mean, we're playing Isaac. You should be aware of this fact by now. Plus two, plus two, thank you. I love seeing one minus two from the previous joke and then the flood of plus twos from the newest joke. From the, the lowest lows to the highest highs. I think you're right. I think Peloton should get um, celebrity appearances. You said Hulk Hogan. I don't know. I feel like that would probably cause like a mega thread on our slash Peloton cycle, but... There's no reason that The Rock should not have done a 30-minute ride yet. A Rick from Rick and Morty ride. Exactly. Wubba Lubba Choo Choo. Lance Armstrong songs to ride the bike while taking steroids to 30-minute steroid ride. <laughs> 30 minute Tazon day ride. Dude, I would be so into that. We get Keeper's Kin like literally every freaking time now. And I'm kind of into it. What genre of music's best for Peloton? I'm just saying, like, I don't think it really matters, but I do want to say, and I, I, I hate to insult my, my favorite instructor, Sam Yo. I don't think I can hear another Def Leppard song. I just, I'm so, I've, I've def, since I got the Peloton, the graph of my frequency of uh, listening to Def Leppard has actually, it's like a hockey stick. It goes from zero to like five songs a week. I don't want to hear any more Def Leppard. I don't want to hear Armageddon 2. I don't want to hear Animal. I don't want to hear Pour Some Sugar On Me. I can't find a secret room today. What about Foo Fighters? I don't mind it because the only Foo Fighters song they seem to play regularly on the rides that I take is um, Everlong, which is probably the best Foo Fighters song, in my personal opinion. There was a hater spider in there. Based, based, based. No, I, I do not like White Snake either. Also, literally, I know we talk about bands that only have one song, like uh, Gautier, but like White Snake legitimately has one song. Here I go again on my own. I don't think they have they have any other. I don't know if they've ever recorded any other songs. The Everlong music video is a trip. You should watch it, bro. I was alive in like. 1996 when the color and the shape came out. This is not like some hidden treasure. That shit was on TV like every 45 minutes. I've seen the Everlong music video. This shit was on MTV like, you know, every every time you turn on the TV, you see the dude's hands get really big. He starts slapping the guy around. It is a banger. I don't love the Foo Fighters, but I, I do like that song a lot. I mean, Everlong is a great song. I like Learn to Fly, too, but I, it's maybe a little controversial. But then I don't like anything the Foo Fighters made after, like, 2002. My lowest stat is damage. There's a first time for everything. I mean, I it, to be honest with you, at the risk of making even more enemies in chat... I kind of feel like the the way you feel about me when I talk about U2, the band U2, um, is the way that I feel about people when they talk about the Foo Fighters. Like, I'm... Whenever people are like, I love the Foo Fighters, I'm like, but how? Like, I, I like, like, five of the songs. Big Me, Everlong, Learn to Fly... There's probably some more. I listened to The Color and the Shape back in the day. 
But then when people are like, oh, I've seen the Foo Fighters in concert like 10 times, I'm like, really? I mean, I guess if you're into it, I'm not being a hater. I'm just saying, uh, I, I, I guess this, you know, it, when you hear me talk about Pride in the Name of Love by you 2 and you're like, how could such a, a based individual like such trash music? I, I guess that's, that's how I feel when people start talking about you 2s like, you know, is someone getting the best of you or something like that. Monkey Wrench is a, is a good song. That's how I feel about the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I can't... I, it's one of those things, again, I've already... This, these are my honest opinions. I'm not just trying to, like, make people mad. But I really... The Red Hot Chili Peppers have got to be, like, the funniest band on the planet. I mean... I, I say this, by the way, as somebody who, in the sixth grade, uh, in French class, we had to write a menu for a fake restaurant, and I named my fake restaurant the Red Hot Chili Peppers because I loved the album Californication so much. But in my defense, I was literally 11 or 12 years old. Bad chest, bad chest. I just remember that I made the signature dish like a big pot of red hot chili peppers. It was not very creative. Temperance? Okay, we'll give it a try. That's gonna play with fellow Zoomers. Zoomers consider the red hot chili peppers to be like the nickelback of the Gen X crowd. Dude, honestly, I think people in chat are probably catching strays, but I think that's very fair. It's got to be, the Red Hot Chili Peppers have to be like Gen X's favorite band. Nah, they're good. I always just think of the John Daly song from uh, Comedy Bang Bang. A bing a bong a bong a bong Burbank. Goo 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 Glendale. You're right, you know what? I have Pyromaniac, I forgot about that. You know, the joke is that like every... Red Hot Chili Pepper song is about either California or like sexual intercourse. It's just like, I can't, they've been doing the same thing for like, uh, you know, 35 years. And that actually, the, I cannot hear, uh, give it away anymore. That's the, the number one song on the Peloton. If you ever see a 90s rock ride, there's literally a 99.9% .9 chance there's going to be give it away. And I, I just can't hear it anymore, man. I'm just, I'm over it. It's, it's just the Seinfeld theme song over and over. When did you get so based? I think, honestly, I've always been based. You probably just got a little bit older. And now you're realizing how based I am. Like that classic Mark Twain quote, when I was 17, I thought my dad was the dumbest person on the planet, and then when I was 27, I was surprised how much the old man had learned in just 10 short years. Read between the lines. Plus two, plus two. What is this? What is this? The fool? What's this? Full health? Okay. Take one of these, take one of these. What a smart dad to learn so much in 10 years. Listen, I told you to read between the damn lines, okay? Sounds like something you see on Facebook. Um, Maybe something you see on Facebook in like 2009. I haven't been on Facebook in like five years now, but I'm pretty sure that my impression of what is on Facebook these days is largely just no uh, post this uh, minion meme if you do not give consent to Justin Trudeau to take your DNA with a microchip from the vaccine. But I don't know. Hands up in chat. Do we have any any remaining Facebook users in chat? I guess we're leaving, but do, two good trinkets. Me? Me? No? No? I mean, Facebook is god-awful. 
I can take you. At least in North America. I can't, I can't speak for the rest of the world, but my feed is just animal vids. Well, I mean, honestly, that's not so bad. Animal videos. That sounds kind of nice. I mean, we got to take it. I just, I, I hate to lose the D6. I'm 19 and people post, some people post on their Facebook like it's Instagram. I mean, that's like what it was when I was 19. I was 19 in like 2007, 2008. And people were using the Facebook feed like it was like uh, an, an AOL instant messenger, like a way message. You would just type your, you would literally type how you're feeling that day into the bar. You would be like, Mm, having a good day. Hope I'm gonna be able to... Who am I gonna see at brunch later? And then, like, people would react to it and be like, OMG, me. Um, but then I feel like something changed. <laughs> and I, I hate to be outwardly ageist, but it was when the, the aunts got access, man. It was definitely... Like, it was at least contained when it was .edu email addresses. It was as soon as they started letting everybody be on it that all of a sudden it... It, it kind of all fell apart, I think. Health up, let's go. When the aunts found out what maymays are. That started before you even went to university? What are you talking about? Facebook came out in like... 2005 or something like that. I went to university in 2006. This is a rare case of somebody thinks I'm young. 2004? Yeah, if you were literally like Mark Zuckerberg's roommate. Any Winklevoss twins in the in the chat right now? Or are you too busy uh, trying to keep your current business solvent in the economic climate that has presented itself now? No! I'm okay. No, they, they stopped restricting it to .edu in like, I think it was 2006 or 2007. It was pretty soon after I started using it. But even then, it took a while for the, for the boomers who were actually like Gen X and older to, um, to, oh, I wanted that, to, to start using it. Because they were like, oh, I don't really understand social media. It seems like the sort of thing that actually like, has troubling implications and you're giving up your privacy for like no reason and we were like oh whatever boomer and then um it turns out they were actually like right but then they logged on regardless i think anyway i don't know it's my two cents so true holy holy so true stop telling me i'm so right because it just again it makes me skeptical Do mushrooms blowing up heal you? I don't know. It's green smoke. Isn't that like the worst smoke? That's like the blend tech. Uh, don't breathe this. Hello, Ross. By the way, Ross, can you believe it? I'm I'm wearing your very shirt right now. Ross from Friends. We were on a break, Jerry. We were on a break. Take me down. I don't even remember what I was talking about, man. This this whole stream is not going to exist in my uh, short or long-term memory. I guess we should just... Wait a minute. Does Eden's Soul give you two angel deals? Or does it give you items from the item pool of the room on which you use it on? Current room pool? Okay, so we would rather use it on a secret room if possible. the world i i understand stomping rocks give me spiders but it's also just kind of annoying to have to step on every rock 
Except when they're set up like this. I mean, that's a dream come true. Based? Stop! Now we've got the... You've, you've bad-chested based now. I used to take... Uh, Take it as a sign of praise. Now I'm skeptical. Epic fetus. Lost soul. Heckin based. Oh no. I will say, and again, like now so many people are agreeing with me that I feel like I need to just throw out like uh, something disagreeable so that I get back on your bad side. I feel the same way. You know when somebody says like heckin big chonker in 2022 and you just go... What? Like, you don't understand, that, that's an old, that's the way people talked in like 2011. We gotta like, we're past that. It just makes you feel kind of weird. That's still the way I feel uh, now when people post their Wordle results um, in June 2022. You're still... I mean, I was saying we shouldn't even be posting them in February. We had, like, the one month where everybody was into Wordle. It was a cool time. We're over it now. You're still posting Wordles? In, in six months after the fact? I posted on Discord. I think as long as you... Uh, as long as you have like-minded folks... That want to see it. But, like, just pushing it out into the into the ether just to be like check it out look at how high my wordle score was today i'm like i don't know it's just it's a weird flex to me <coughs> pardon me it's like posting a victory royale wait a minute but i i do that i just don't get that many that's why i don't post them just admit you suck at wordle I mean, I'm not very good at Wordle, but I think one of the reasons I'm bad at Wordle is because sometimes I just get to, like, four of six, and I'm just like, I just don't want to think of this. I don't want to... I know there's, like, if I sat here for 20 minutes, I could think of the right word. I just don't want to. I'm, like, over it. Six, five, whatever, you know. Twenty minutes? Well, I said I wasn't that good at it. You don't have to insult me. And again, you know, I wouldn't expect you to understand, but when you have a baby, you gotta prioritize your time a little bit more. So I can't be spending 45 minutes on every single Wordle just to keep my 100% streak running. The best Wordle is... Uh... Hurdle. Hurdle is by far the best Wordle. I will say this is also kind of limited, but I do like Stanley Couple as well. It's it's kind of horribly named, but Stanley Couple is Wordle, but for NHL players. Incorrect, it's framed. Is that the one that gives you like a bunch of shots from a movie and you have to guess what movie it is? Hmm... Seems a little prosaic to me. Samantle? No, Samantle is for people who uh, have lost their minds. Samantle is for like that AI that they made sentient at Google to play. I, I don't even understand the rules. I certainly do not derive any enjoyment out of it. Saying Samantha is fun is like there being a board game night and then, you know, people are bringing over like Catan, Sushi Go, uh, Betrayal at House on Haunted Hill or whatever the show is called. And then you bring over like some Warhammer 40k game where the setup takes like 45 minutes and then explaining the rules takes three hours and then playing the game takes a whole weekend. There's like sleeping breaks in between. And then don't even get me started on what happened. You get through the marathon of completing that first game. And then they go, all right, so now it'll be really easy to set it up next time. You think I'm ever playing this shit again? You must have lost your damn mind. 
That's, again, as long as we're giving hot takes that might actually be bad. Um, when it comes to board games, I, I mean, you can see behind me when we get the camera pointed over there. We got some of the complicated ones. Not really complicated, but like, you know, we have like Dead of Winter and stuff like that. I would much rather just play Ticket to Ride, um, Catan, Sushi Go, or games that have like an extremely light weight to them. Like, uh, Splendor? Splendor's a really good one. It takes five seconds to learn the rules. You can play over and over again. Ticket to Ride is sleepy. Those are sleepers. Yeah, don't even get me started on some of the. Every, so, like, we played Pandemic uh, Legacy with Corey once, and it took us, like, an hour to set up the board, right? And then we never played it again for, like, six weeks, and then we went over to his house again. By the time we played it again, we had to learn all the rules again. I, some of these games, look, let me, I don't know if you can see this, okay? Machi Koro, you can't see. Machi Koro, that's a great game. Clank, that's a great game. Root, I will never play it because I played the tutorial when the Root Steam version came out. Everyone's like, Root, Root is so good. Root's amazing. It's got like a six hour long tutorial. Root is pog. They got to release like a, like a truncated version. They got to release like Root Go or something like that. I can't, I don't have that kind of time, man. What's the one, um, I, the game is, it's not called Schism, but it's something like that. I played it on Kate's stream once. Scythe. I, you immediately knew what I was talking about. I played that for like four hours on Kate's stream once. I have no concept of what that game is even about. I, I'm basically, I think I've just reached a point in my life where like, I don't, want to play a board game unless you can learn it from front to back in like 10 minutes i know i keep saying it but like sushi go is awesome you can play the or mysterium you can play those with like we, we played mysterium with our nieces and it was totally fine some motherfucker always shows up with twilight imperium or something like that and you're like Hey, uh, we played. Hey, we played one round of Sushi Go that you brought. Can we play one round of Twilight Imperium? They don't tell you this shit is 17 hours long. That's not a fair trade. Just a quick game. I mean, honestly, like Four Souls is like not complicated. Four Souls is, is I, I think it's a pretty approachable board game. You could teach it to to someone in like less than 15 minutes for sure. But I just feel like over the last like 10 years when it comes to, and this maybe this is a me problem because I don't have that much of a social life, but like whenever I do like a board game night or go to like a board game cafe or something like that, Nobody ever wants to play the games that we learned the last time. Everybody wants to play a game that they don't own, but are able to play at the board game cafe, because the board game cafe has every game on the planet. So instead of just playing something we're familiar with, now we got Scythe on the table, and we're just about to get into Scythe, and then the waitress comes over and she's like, here's 17 pizzas and drinks that you guys ordered, and we're like, Trying to read the rules, but people are snacking and eating, and then like I, I would much rather just play the stuff that that we learned last time. We always read the rules beforehand. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that it's uh, this is school. I'm just joking. This seems pretty smart, but again, like now, like your social gathering now comes with like prep work and stuff like that. Man, it's crazy talk. And you gotta play with the right kind of group. Cause like, there's certain kinds of like, board game players, man. Like there's some people who are like, they refuse to let the game start until they have like, every edge case figured out. Oh, so, 
if I'm in my momentum phase and I choose to use a reversal token, wait, can you use a reversal token during a momentum phase? What if I had a game winning card in my hand and you played a card on me that was, I can't play cards this turn. Could I, you know, you get the idea. I'm just, I'm, you're right. I'm playing vampire survivors now. I'm just walking around. Which is why all board games should be digital, so that it handles all that stuff for you. Hello? I forgot you were playing Isaac. Well, you know, to be honest, me too. But can you believe we're going to have a 15 win streak? I mean, that's crazy. I never would have thought it was possible. Moving the little pieces is kind of fun. Well, that's why I like Monopoly. That's a great game. People always rag on Monopoly, man. But you know what? The rules couldn't be simpler. It's just like, who's got the time, man? I honestly think that the boomers kind of had it figured out. You know, you go camping, they don't bring Dead of Winter and try to teach you about like, oh, it's a semi-cooperative, semi-competitive, asynchronous multiplayer game where uh, there's a zombie apocalypse, but everybody has an ulterior motive. So multiple people can win, but also uh, multiple people can lose. And you know what they did? They went to the damn cottage, they pulled out a deck of cards, and they said, AC Deuces. And they just dealt them out, had a couple of brews. Played like, you know, gin rummy or something like that. Played some played some euchre. Played some go fish. Playing solitaire till dawn with a deck of fifty one. Maybe a little old maid. Maybe a little crazy eights. Dude, I'm telling I'm still stunned that Cribbage has not taken over the Twitch meta. I still think that Cribbage is like it it could be the next chess on Twitch. When I was talking about it in the Discord like 3 months ago, I think was it you VIP Daniel who linked me to the the online Cribbage client? I, I had a great time playing some games of Cribbage against the AI. Codenames, another another classic, another great game for... I mean, I my basic rule, I think... And this is not like, uh, you know, rules to live by. This is just for me. I think if you can't teach a board game to, like, a 10-year-old... I don't want to play it. Maybe even, like, a 7-year-old. Like a because when I'm relaxing, I want to roughly be at, like, a 7-year-old's level of attention and intellect, I think. Because I'm operating as like a, maybe like a 55 year old right now. So to regress and stay in a state of arrested development as a child, like, you know, that that's what all I really aspire to. One of your worst takes of all time. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. At least it's noteworthy. I think it's the same reason I never really vibed with Among Us that hard. Because, like, uh, you know, every time there would be an emergency meeting, there would always be, like, one person who was like, actually, that lie that you just said is obviously a lie. Because I saw you go into electrical with Mama, and when you were in Mama with blah, blah, then the next time I saw you, you were in steering. And then I was like, you paid attention to all that? I was just kind of walking around. But Secret Hitler, on the other hand, I'm like, that game is Pog. Can you just let me fight the boss? I don't know where I am. There can't possibly be this many dead ends on one floor. It simply doesn't make sense. He's in the damn weeds.
Use bombs too. I only got, I only got ten of those, man. I don't have. I do you run like a bomb factory or something like that. Could you give me some? What the hell? King of Tokyo. I love King of Tokyo as well. I think that's a very cool game. Also very easy to understand. This has got to be it, man. What's this game called? Um, this is called Rampart. It comes out in theaters this August, starring Woody Harrelson. Well, it was worth a try. Plus two, plus two. My philosophy is proving true. <laughs> The, you you indulge in the meme when it comes out. You let it simmer for eight years, and then you bring it back. That's how humor works. You noob. If you'll excuse me, I'm just gonna heal up over here. I'm just gonna just gonna sneak right by you. I should never have taken almond milk. Like, that run was, was so good if we don't take almond milk. I can have cheeseburger? Very true, dude. It's so fun because the cat is like... The cat is like... If no made for sits, how come it warm? And it's about a laptop. And you're like, dude, my cat is just like that. He always wants to sit on top of my laptop because it's warm it's so hard to like explain it to him okay we did win this one let's run it back start a prediction start a prediction will nl win this one slash marker isaac uh, it'll be isaac too 